Beginning March 12th, households will receive an invitation in the mail to go online to complete the 2020 census. And this is a national undertaking, but it's so important for you to think about it locally because the 2020 census data informs how funds will be spent here in Henrico County. The first census actually occurred in 1790 and we've been doing them ever since. The census counts the U.S. population. Um, it's an important way for us to figure out how many people are living in the United States and that includes citizens and non-citizens. Completing the census is very important. So not only does it count the U.S. population, but it informs how federal funding will be distributed to local communities. It impacts um, the federal funding that schools receive, uh, hospitals, roadways, transportation, um, just so many of those services that you use every day. Also, it informs how many seats Virginia will have in Congress. April 1st is Census Day, so that's kind of our kickoff day, and it's no April Fool's Day, it is very serious. So April 1st is our official day where we kick off the census, but you'll start to see uh, invitations uh, being sent out in the mail beginning on March 12th. So the first time in the census history, you can go online to complete the census, and also you can do it by phone. In the past, you've been able to fill the census out by mail, uh, but now we're giving people the option to either go online, to complete it by phone, and also to use the traditional method of completing the census questionnaire by the paper form. Your responses to the 2020 census questionnaire are confidential, and there has been some concern about uh, questions about citizenship. There is not a question about citizenship on the questionnaire, and we also do not ask for social security information. So there is no way for your information to be tied back to you. And again, your information is secure. We are sworn uh, for life to protect your information. So we're just really hoping that people trust the process. We are working with uh, city and county libraries to make sure that we're helping people fill out the census questionnaire. The 2020 census has 10 questions, so each question should take about one minute to complete. It's a fairly painless process, but it's so important for you to complete the questionnaire because those 10 minutes that you spend on completing the census will impact your future for 10 years.